kind of get an idea as well. Um, feel, free, feel free to fire away questions or anything like that, guys, and, and I'll answer them as we go. Um, so let's talk. We, we've Over the last um, few months, we've had some of the biggest additions come through to Hangout Plugin, and we will be actually um, uh, rebranding Hangout Plugin um, very, very shortly by request of Google. Um, Google actually asked us, we obviously uh, marketing the product as Hangout Plugin, um, and Google have said, hey, hang on a second, that's kind of out trademarks and that kind of stuff, so find another name for it. Um, so we'll be doing that. Uh, we've got all the rebrand ready. We'll be rebranding it as um, run-click webinar and video conferencing software powered by Google Hangouts. Um, so all you guys will get all the, the updates and that kind of stuff. The only thing that will change will be the name um, and, of course, the, the branding on the websites. So hey, Joseph, good to see you as well. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to talk really quickly and just kind of show you guys some of this new stuff, if that's OK. Um, and we can um, we can just kind of show off what the new stuff is. One of the most exciting things is the is the evergreen functionality. I'm just going to add in Ian as well, who's um, just posted in the Facebook group. So there's Ian. Cool. So Ian will join us in a second. There we go. Okay, so um, guys, uh, let me just do a, a, a screen share. Actually, first of all, um, I released this to the Mastermind members yesterday. Francis, you've had a bit of a look at the new templates. What's your kind of first overall impression? Oh, I love it. I love the um, I love the choice. I think there's a really nice selection. They're not just all like like some of the, some of the choices that you have in similar kinds of products are. You know, different colors of the same basic idea, but there are a lot of different design concepts okay. like that. And yeah. some of them let you know let you be very, very flexible with what you do. You know, the large image um, on on the on the space. Um, you know, the squeeze pages look really, really nice. I like. I just. I, I like it. They're different. They're very, very different, and I like that. They don't look like everything yeah. else. Well, we we're actually um, um, so one of the things we're doing to the basic the basic layer is is changing the colours of the background. So being able to you know get rid of the blue and you know you put in a white background or whatever that's coming now. That's the next one. But these templates, um, just to give you an idea and understanding, and probably easier for the people that don't know what I'm talking about. Let me show you. Um, so I will grab my test demo site. Uh, let's go. So what we've done is um, we've added these 10 templates. Now all of these templates are um, what we call responsive. So that means that they, they scale to a mobile. I was at um, uh, an event in Las Vegas just a little while ago, uh, last week, two weeks ago, and I'll turn my infinitum screen off. Um, and one of, the, one of the sessions was probably just blew my mind actually. They had um, guys from Yahoo coming across, they had um, uh, some of the biggest traffic generators on the planet in the room, and what they were talking about was the fact that mobile is um, accounting for more than 70% of web traffic right now, which is insane. Even even now, Brian, who's with us, is on his mobile from the car. Like, so we're doing a hangout, and Brian's with us from the car. Mobile traffic is, uh, if put it this way, mobile traffic is the only traffic. If you if you're not catering to 70% of your audience, then who are you catering to? Um, let me just drop my screen down a little bit. So one of the most important things with the templates was being able to make them responsive, meaning that uh, if somebody browses to your Hangouts, somebody comes and wants to attend your presentation or even just to sign up, that they have a screen that looks good on whatever device they are on. So they're on an iPad, they're on an iPhone, uh, they're on an Android device, any size screen, tablets. Um, you want the screen to be responsive so that it looks good, especially with the sign-up page because that's the, that's the real... Um, Getting people on board with your webinars and with your presentations. So, uh, Ian's joining us. Okay, mate. Good to see you. Thanks for coming along. I think we nearly filled up all of our spots here. So that's cool. So let me just uh, jump across back into this screen share, and I'll, I'll show you these templates and um, show you what I mean. So there's my infinitum screen again. Okay. So this has only been released to the uh, mastermind members at the moment. Um, we will just keep it with you guys for a few days. If I if I go and create a new hangout. The first thing that I get asked to do now is choose what template, what look I'm looking for. So these 10 templates, which are available to the Mastermind members, you guys get these for free. 
Um, everybody else will be paying for them individually. Um, can I just get some feedback? Is the screen showing okay? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, cool. All right. I'll just turn off Skype and I'll, I'll drop out of Facebook as well so we can um, have a bit more bandwidth coming through. Okay. Oops. So um, these templates, there's, there's 10 different designs. They've each got a kind of a different purpose, but they've been specifically built uh, to maximize conversions. Um, I was saying that for the Mastermind members, you guys get these for free, um, whereas for anybody that didn't pick up the Mastermind, they can buy these either individually or they can buy them as a uh, as sets. So they can buy template 1 to 5 as a 5-pack and template 6 to 10, or they can buy all 10. All 10 is, um, I'm going to do a bit of a special offer, it's kind of $97 for all 10, so um, just for a first week and then they'll probably be like, you know, 147. Each template is like 10 or 15 dollars each. Um, and when I talk about templates, they actually have different. Uh, they have different screens behind them. So this is template one, for example. Each template set has five pages. So each template set has a registration page, uh, has a thank you page. Is template two. Um, each template set has a, a live page, a replay page, and a uh, and a closed page. I mean, so each template set has five different pages within it, um, and each one of them is responsive, etc. So let me show you how we might set one of these up. Um, and I'll grab template six for an example here, and I'll just go next. All right. Um, just while this is happening, guys, <laughs> just purely <laughs> as my own. Uh, um, information about this. Um, man, these templates, if I had my time again, I probably wouldn't do them um, because it's cost me an absolute fortune to get these done. I got the designers done. Um, so I've got some really great designers that work out of Asia. Uh, I get them to do all my graphic stuff. And so whenever you're getting a, um, let me turn back to screen so you can see me talking. When you, whenever you're getting something done, you know, it's, it costs money. So you say, okay, look, it's um, get do me do me up a, an e-cover or a website template or a header or a footer or whatever. You know they come back and say it's fifty bucks or it's a hundred bucks or if you're getting a whole set of templates it might be two hundred, right? So you say okay it's two hundred bucks no problem, and you pay for the work. That's easy. So with each template set, as I mentioned, there's five pages. So I've gone to my graphics guys and I've gone, um, hey look, this is the I want five different designs. I want one design like this. You know I want sorry I want five different pages. I want a live page, a hangout registration page, a thank you page, and blah, blah, blah. This is how I want it laid out. So my graphics guys come back and say five pages of the full layout and design, that kind of stuff. It's going to cost you, um, I think it was like 20 bucks or, uh, no, $45 per page. So I've gone, okay, so that's like $225 for the set. No worries. Um, go ahead with it. They came back with the first design. Yeah, it's great. It's cool. Um, can you make it more flexible? Whatever. Yep, no worries at all. So by the time we finish the changes, it's like $400 for for one set of templates for the design. And I've gone, okay, cool. And then I did something stupid. <laughs> um, from a business sense, I did something stupid. I've gone, can you do 10 of them? Um, and they, true to their word, they're just brilliant guys, they just said, yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, and I kind of forgot about it, you know, like I'm off doing other things and getting stuff done. And the next thing I know, they come back and say, here's designs two to five. I go, wow, great, cool, wow, they look fantastic. Yeah, thanks guys, awesome. And again, you know, off doing my other things. Here's design six to ten. Hey, wow, wow, they're awesome. Yeah, great, change this, change that, no worries at all. And then here's the bill. <laughs> and because each set had five pages and now I've got them to do ten sets, the bill was like four and a half thousand dollars just for the design. Oh my god. Anyway, look, I asked for it to be done. Here's the here's the money, thanks, you know, I appreciate it. Ow. <laughs> Heart palpitations. Um, and then, uh, then the next step, right? So and now I take the designs, and at, at the moment all I've got is the layouts and the design. Each template, five pages, blah blah blah. And I take it to my programmers, and I say, okay, I've paid for these designs, guys. Can you now build them into the plugin? Can you build it in? And uh, again, my guys are used to working with me. Whatever I ask them to do, they do. It. And and uh, so I've sent it across to the programmers. They said, yep, sure, let's go. And um, I've said, great, you know, get on with it. And again, everything's factored by a, by a multitude of 10. So the next thing I know, I've got um, the cost for one of these templates to be actually coded into the system was something like $1,500 worth of actually coding time to get it into the plugin. And then you times it by 10, 
And again, my, my programmer guys send me my account for the month and it's $15,000 worth of, of programming time. So now I'm in for the templates for like 20 grand. And uh, it hurts. It really hurts. It really yeah. hurts. Um, but you know what? I love my guys because whenever I ask them to do something, they just do it. And um, I'm sure they love me too because I just pay my bills. If I ask for something to be done, then get it done and they always know that I pay the yeah. bills. So. That's three minutes of my pain. I just wanted to give you guys a background here of what I've gone through. There's a lot of other stuff we've added to this update that everybody who's bought Hangout Plugin will get, um, including the Evergreen feature, which I'll show you in a second, and including the, um, the integration with the APIs of the autoresponders instead of using their code, which makes the, the plugin a lot cleaner. So everybody will get that, but let's talk about the templates because that's where we're at at the moment. So, um, Okay, remember I'm using this template. Uh, I can do the same thing as, as I've always been able to do. Give my Hangout a title. So this is a demo for templates. Okay, this is the same stuff that's always been like that. Date and time, you know, it's tomorrow, it's whatever, it's this time, and set that time in which time zone. So I can do it in uh, New York, for example. So I'll set my Hangout for Eastern Standard Time. Whatever. Okay. Take registrations. Yes. Now the registration system. This is where it's a bit different from the old plugin. Now you guys, I didn't turn my screen share on, did I? And you guys are watching no, me. I was just gonna say. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Um, is that better? You can see where I'm working now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sorry, boys. Sorry, guys. And Francis. Um, okay. So we've given it a title. We've set our time. We've chosen our time zone. Um, take registrations, and I got to here. Registration system. This is different. So what we used to have was uh, when you chose one of the um, one of the systems, you literally just choose it and then copy and paste the code from your uh, autoresponder. Okay. But these days now we want to make it cleaner. So if you choose Aweber, for example, you will automatically click connect your autoresponder, and then you will have the authorization code, which allows you to talk to their API. Okay. Uh, if you choose Get Response, you'll have the autoresponder API key and choose your campaign name. And again, your, your webinar registrations will go straight into your autoresponder system without actually having the HTML code on the page, which is cool and keeps the design of your page looking good as well. And I've just noted a spelling error there before anybody says anything. Okay. Um, so all of this is the same. We're going to make it a public hangout. Uh, we can change the header. We can put put in a logo, we can enable the social sharing buttons. This is where it gets different, okay? So the theme settings, each one of the themes has different information, okay? So we've got a bullet, we've got three bullet points we can fill in. We can drop in a video, we can have um, different headings. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this with nothing filled in for now and look at the actual page itself and then I'll come back and show you how you can fill this in, right? So there's the demo for templates. I'm going to open this in a new tab. And here's the demo template. Now it's kind of makes sense that I can see where I'm typing. So let's go back in and edit. Edit. Here we go. OK, so I'll go to my live registration page. I'll go to my theme settings. And I can start changing things. So it's got headline text. You say, where does that show up? It shows up here, okay. So I can change that to say um, the best hangout system ever, okay. Bullets. Where do my bullets show up? Bullet one, bullet two, bullet three, okay. So I can say um, hangouts with Google, hangouts on air. Never pay webinar fees. Okay, you guys get the idea. I'm not going to go in and fill all of these out because you'll get bored, right? But let me just update. And then I'll just refresh this page. The best hangout system ever. Hangouts with Google, Hangouts, and then never pay webinar fees, okay? And this is text, so it's all. Um, part of the search engine spiders and that kind of stuff, they can read this text. I can change the image, so I can swap out my own image there. The heading, the subheading, okay, so I can, I can change literally everything on this page now. One of the big requests we got as well was um, being able to work in other languages. Um, so, 
previously, all of the graphics on our page were set. Things like register now was a button uh, that was created, and you couldn't change the text. So people in um, people in other countries, other languages, were annoyed because they had this beautiful laid out Spanish um, website capture page, but they couldn't change the button text to the language that they chose. So now you can change everything on the page, and you can set it all out. Um, guys, I'll get some feedback. What's your initial thoughts? I think they're all right. I saw you with the video that you did recently on YouTube. Yeah. Cool. So, um, yeah, go for it. Go for it, Brian. On the, on the downloads, do you unzip it uh, when you download the templates, or do you just leave it zip? I mean, when you when you upload right. it to the to the Hangouts. Sorry. Upload, is it, is it, question. I should, have, I should have started there. I should have started there. <laughs> leave it zipped, man. Leave it zipped. I'll show you how to do it. Um, so when you okay. buy the templates, if you're um, if I you're saw the video. I, I wasn't sure if, the, if you leave, leave them zipped or unzipped them before you upload. So, so you leave them zipped, so we're good. <laughs> that was my only question. Yeah, no worries. Leave them zipped. Um, so let me show you. Uh, I should have started there. So if you're a Mastermind member, you've got this. Um, it, it's pinned in the Mastermind group at the moment. All of the download links are there um, on Facebook. But if I go back to my dashboard, so for anybody that's just you know literally watching this, how do I install my templates? You go over here to the Hangout settings, and you just upload the new themes. Okay. So you've got. We'll have ten templates, and they're all zip files. And you just upload a zip file. Um, and click on save. You need to do it 10 times and it will save all 10 of your templates for you. And when you set up a new Hangout, so or I'll do edit, whichever ones you've purchased, so again if you're a Mastermind member you've got all of them, whichever one you've purchased will show up here. So whichever ones you've uploaded you'll see here and be able to choose from here. All right. So, But that's the answer is you just leave it zipped. Okay, so um, I get I'll, just run a, I'll just run along our, our panel um, Joshua, you right. wanted to ask something there? Yeah, I was wondering if they're ever going to add a short code system so you can actually use your own de design development as well. Because some of us uh, do code. I code themes all the time. <laughs> if we okay, have short cool. codes and we're able to embed them in on our own designs even. I did have that in our first release, man, and uh, I'm, I'm okay to bring it back. Um, it's, it's still there, um, so to speak. So it's actually still part of the actual Hangout plugin itself. I've just turned it off. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason being was that um, it was the control of the experience that I was having troubles with. So mm -hmm. what, what was happening was people were taking the short codes and they were dropping it in on a page that wasn't uh, the right width or it wasn't um, you know, set up the right way and, and our support desk was exploding with people using short codes. So, I literally took it out to control the experience so that we could make sure that, that people were having the best experience, basically, so that they could they could uh, have a good looking page, have a hangout that worked, have the embed code that went in the right way. So it's still there, um, but I've kind of hidden it at the moment. Um, I'm okay to bring it back, ish. You can see my hesitation, um, but uh, yeah, it's definitely something I'll think about. Um, and and, just, to, about, and, and just this may be another thing to bring up, uh, since some of the other WordPress companies like WooThemes and all these others, they're doing modular development now. There may be a possibility to bring in developers to actually create future themes for your plugin as well and have a marketplace within that. That's I don't a know great if you thought idea. about that as well. That is a great idea. I'd actually love that to That way it would actually time. decrease your operational expenses and you'd be able to make some money back on the developers. <laughs> I like the way you think, man. I like the way you think. Anytime somebody says that to me, I'm like, oh, really? Okay, that's nice. No, actually, I think that's a great idea to be able to actually open the floor up to an open development mm -hmm. uh, and have a, literally a, a, a theme marketplace mm -hmm. where people, developers like yourself, could, could list a theme you know, and um, uh, people could buy it. I think that's a great idea. Um, and actually, I'll make a note because because uh, I know Woo theme, Woo Themes does that. Uh, Exchange does that through iThemes. There's a lot of them that do that already. Usually, okay. it's almost like a 40-60 split is what they do with the developers. Sweet. So it's not a bad deal for the developers because they get extra exposure, but it's also good for the market, the marketplace providing it because they get a little yeah. bit of buy as well. And actually, um, that's be pays pays better than developing an Apple app. So no worries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea. Look, that's a great idea. I like it. Um, I think it's, it's something that I'll open the floor to. It will probably take us a few months to get sure. that to a point because we'll need to we'll need to have yeah, a, to a the very, document. 
documentation for yeah, the developers. Yeah, I mean, we have a very specific framework and that yeah. kind of stuff, but I like it. Uh, open template marketplace. I like it, man. Thank you. Cool. So, um, guys, I guess you know. Again, this is really just an informal. I threw the invitation up there just to show you what we've what we've done here. And I'm just going to go back to the screen share. What we've done is we've we've created an environment where you can customize your landing pages to the absolute infinite degree. Um, so I showed you guys this one with you know changing the text and everything there. But the next step of that. So we've got the registration page. The next step is the thank you page. And again, you can customize the look and feel of what's on the thank you page. You can include a video, you know, thank you for registering or a graphic. Um, again, you've got this ability to change this. So I can actually, for example, uh, say um, welcome aboard, all right, and I'll just save and update that thank you page, and then I'll just do a quick view of it. So I can actually, when somebody registers for my event now, I can control, again, control the experience. So even though there's, so there we go, that's updated. Sorry, just saving there. Okay, cool, and let's just do a quick preview. Okay, so there's the thank you page with the welcome aboard, and again, I've got text, and all of the thank you pages have got this add to calendar, add to Google calendar, add to Outlook, so you've got iCal, Google, and Outlook. You've got the um, presenter information, okay, uh, and again, all of these headings you can change. You can update this image so that your thank you page is, is doing what you need it to do. You can give away something for free. It doesn't matter. Whatever. You can change that look and feel. So that obviously then flows through to the live page. You can change everything about the live page. All right? You can change everything about the replay page. Drop in uh, information there. Okay? So all of the different pages within each individual theme can now be customized. All right. Now, right about at this moment, I can almost hear everybody saying, "Oh my God, that's a lot of work." All right. Um, there's a lot of things that you can set up and change on every single template because why? It's important to control your branding. You want to have the exact right look. You want to have the information. But yeah, it's a lot of information there. So one of the things that we've done is we've added in a clone feature. So I just want to show you that as well. I keep bouncing between. Uh, the screens here. So now I've set everything up, I've customized my look, I've got all my information the right way. Uh, I can now go across to my, sorry, to my dashboard. Here we go. And over here I've got a new button here which is called clone. Okay? So what I can do is when I have the right template, the right look, uh, and the things that I want, I can simply clone this, um, this layout. Okay, and now I can change individual things if I've got a different presenter. You know, I can change that information on the thank you page. I can just change the name of it. I can change the time. But I can literally clone as I go. So once I have things set up, if I want to just use that same layout all the time, I can clone it. Is that cool? That's very good. All right, I can see some nods and some smiles. So that's cool. So that was one of the things that, that we got asked for a lot. Now, um, what about a speed setup, all right? So oh, I don't want to go through all of this stuff, you know. I just want to throw up a webinar page and get people to come along. Yeah, no worries. Um, so again, you can either use the templates to do that and just fill in the blanks. Or if you really want to go speed, let me go dashboard, the same rules apply as always. Create new hangout. Um, use the default theme, OK? So use the, the standard theme. Okay, click on next, and everything's pretty much done for you. You just need to give it a title. So I'm just going to give it a title. Said um, default. Oops, sorry. Default speed setup. Okay, pick a date and a time. It's then. It's that time. It's this time zone. Okay, make it public and click on Add. That's it. I don't need to change anything else if I don't want to because it really everything else is taken care of. So if I now look at this just as a quick view, I can have a new registration page up and running in minutes. Okay? Um, everything ready to rock, no problem at all. All the live pages and the thank you pages are part of this and no issues. So if you just want a speed setup, use the default. If you want to change the branding, um, of course, you go down that path. How are we going, guys? Everybody staying with me? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, can I ask you a question? Let's see sure, you man. On the page with all the templates. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. Can you click on uh, anyone and see all the five as an example, not necessarily filled in, but as an example of what all the five look like? Not at the moment, but I just noticed that when I clicked on it myself, Ian, and I thought um, uh, I thought that would be a great thing to do. So the easy, uh, easy way to maybe do that is put a hyperlink and do a separate page. That's the quick name for you to save you some cost and just have them showing on a separate page. So each time you click, you can see what it looks like from A to Z. Yeah, I like it. So you could actually click on, for example, click on template two. Yeah, and, and then it will show you maybe a, a link to a page which shows you all of them so you can look at them quick and think that looks pretty good as a X, Y, Z, and then do it that way. I yeah. mean, down the road, you might want to choose a template one of one and template two of um, thank you page, etc. but that's obviously more work. You don't want to do that. No, I, I don't know that that would work so well as far as mix and matching because um, because of the different fields, um, yeah. you know. And, and and from a again from an experience point of view, Ian, you want people to be consistent. They they register on a page that looks like this, and if you take them yeah. into a thank you page that looks way different, you're going to oh. lose people. So um, that's probably not not the way to go. But what I have noted there is when they click when they're setting up a new event and they click on the theme to show the expanded view the light box. Um, and the scroll button, instead of scrolling through the different templates, what I'll set it up to do is scroll through the different pages. So you can see the registration page, the thank you page, the live page, and the replay page on that scroll rather than the different templates. So you click on one and scroll through the pages rather than scroll through the different looks. So I'll do that as well. Okay, so um, let me show you one other feature that is the, probably, in addition to templates, the biggest part of this new release for Hangout plugin, and that's the Evergreen system. Okay, do you guys understand? Do you know the term Evergreen from a from an Evergreen webinar? Is that something that you're familiar with? You're about an auto replay yep. webinar. Yep. Yeah. An auto replay webinar, and the way it works is that you can you can do a presentation. So you've got all your notes, you've gone through the presentation. You can have people live or not, depending on you know if you're doing it as a PowerPoint or you're having an interactive whatever. So you do the presentation. And then you set it up to be available to people as if they were attending live. Okay. Now I've seen a lot of presentations um, which have been pre-recorded where it appears to be live and you can still interact, um, but it's not. It's it's a recording. Um, and people always ask me, should I tell people it's live or not? Well, that's up to you. I would. I would say, um, welcome to the presentation. This was recorded on April the 3rd or whatever. Um, you can still interact with us by sending us your questions. That's me. That's personal. All right? But I've seen lots of presenters um, not do that. I've seen them um, just launch into it as if they were live. And again, that's perfectly fine um, if, if that's the way you want to run. And, and that works really well as well. So that's just up to you and each individual. But I'm really excited about this um, addition because of the way we've built it. What I've tried to do, and they always say that um, uh, theft is the mother of all creativity. There's some excellent, excellent um, evergreen webinar systems out there. And I've tried to pick the best features. I've basically said, what works really well and what can we build into the Hangout plugin? So um, let me show you what we've done. I'm not saying, you know, we stole their code or anything stupid before anybody writes me complaint letters. Um, all I've seen is good ideas that work and what we should build into our software. Okay, so let me see if I can show you. Guys, is that all cool? I'm not stealing anybody's sure. stuff. All right. That's cool, yeah. Okay. I'm not stealing anybody's stuff. I just like good ideas. When they stealing stuff. ideas, right. but not the code. I already own the yeah. others anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, you know, does that mean that every airline stole the original flight guide? It does. We don't want to get into that argument. Anyway, so you guys can see the screen. Now let me show you how we're going to set up an evergreen webinar. So let's say, for example, that even this... Hangout we could set as an evergreen webinar, but I'm going to um, I'm going to go across to YouTube, and I'm going to grab maybe a presentation that we've done before, um, and you're still not sharing your screen. Oh, cool. Yes, I've got the screen. Oh, have you? Okay, cool. I won't change anything yet. There I just saw his picture. See? Now we can see. Awesome. Okay. So this is my YouTube channel, and I've got a lot of stuff in here. Um, there you go. Uh, there's a hangout. Whichever way, it doesn't matter. This one, okay. This this particular video is my presentation for now, for today. Shush. So what I want to do is I want to get this embed code. All I've done is click on share. I've gone to embed, and I can get the embed code. And I'll show you where we put that, right? But before I do that, let me just say something very quickly. 
This is not now limited to YouTube. All right? You can actually grab the embed code of any video from anywhere, including video players, if you've got skins that overlay, uh, that kind of stuff. If you want to use any embed code, you can now do that with the Evergreen system. Okay, so let me show you how this is going to work. We're going to create a new Hangout, and it's going to be an evergreen replay. Okay, so we've done the presentation, and now we're just going to keep that presentation because it converts really well, and we're just going to drive traffic to it day after day after day. Okay, so I'm going to grab a template. I'm going to use template 9 for this example, and instead of being a new Hangout, all right, we're going to use a recorded Hangout. Okay, let me just click on Next. All right, cool. So now one of the things that's missing is the big four buttons at the top, okay? Because we don't now have a live registration page, etc. What we have is a funnel system. When somebody registers, they get shown the the, um, the replay at the time that they want to. So we don't have a live page, okay? But we still have the same things that we can do. So we're going to give it a, um, a demonstration replay, okay? Uh, this is where I put the embed code, all right? So I'm just going to grab the embed code from YouTube right here, okay? Oops, copy that. And simply paste it in there. Now, again, any embed code from any video system, Vimeo, um, your own embed system, anything that you want to use, okay? Any embed code. Now, the next thing about an, an evergreen system is how do you want to present this to somebody who's coming to sign up, okay? So I've got two options there. You can either use a calendar, which means you can view this replay every single day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every day, pick a day, the 27th, at whatever time I'm about to select. Or I can use a three-day system. So I can say, um, you want to watch it today, tomorrow, or the next day, all right? I'll show you this one just purely for the example, and we can come back and talk about it. Now, the next thing is here, time slots, all right? So you can select all. The, the user will then have a chance to, to watch a webinar at, at any hour on these three days, all right? Or if you want to make it appear a little bit more real, you can say we're doing a presentation at 7 a.m., we're also doing a presentation at 10 a.m., 2 p.m., and 5 p.m., and one late at night at 9, okay? So you can choose what times are available for the people to watch this replay. Okay, so do we want to take registrations? Yes, of course. Uh, I'll just use the default system for now, but of course you're going to connect your autoresponder here. Send notifications. Now, because this is an evergreen system, they will get the notifications, for example, one hour before the time slot that they choose. Let me keep going. So we've, we've got our replay. We've chosen the time slots. We can set up the page like we've shown before. Um, Sign up to view our presentation. I'm not going to fill this all in. I'm just going to click on Add. Okay? So now what the reason this is so cool and the reason I'm so excited about it is because watch what happens when somebody comes to the page now. Okay? So you're, this is now your page. Um, sign up to view our presentation. You're going to put it all in here. And check out what's over here. Select Date and select Time. Okay, so I can literally say, um, because I chose the three-day system, I've got a choice of three days, all right? I can watch it today, tomorrow, or the day after. If I've chosen the calendar, it will just give me a full calendar pop-up, and I can choose which date I'm available to watch the presentation. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep, everybody's with me so far? Yeah. 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 All right, cool. So I've chosen the three-day system. I'm going to say I want to watch it today. Now, at what time do I want to watch it? The first thing that's available is now. Ooh, I can watch it now. Okay? So I'm available, I'm here, I can watch it now. Or I can see the presentation at 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 5 p.m., or 9, just exactly as the way that I set it up on my admin panel. Okay, so I might say I want to watch it today, but I want to watch it at 2 p.m., and I'll obviously fill that in and away we go. Now, at the right time, when the person comes back to the page, or if they choose now, for example, let me just drop this in here, Walt. All right. 
I can go through, and I probably missed a step, I would say. Yes. But I will actually then be taken to the presentation because I've chosen now. That's loading. There we go. So this is the web uh, presentation, OK? And this will actually have the live embed code showing through. So they're taken straight through to watch it immediately. So the benefit here is, guys, that you can actually have a presentation and just drive traffic to the registration page, grab the, um, the leads from people signing up, obviously drop them into your autoresponder and they can view the presentation at a time that they choose and um, you can follow them up, etc. but you don't actually have to be there doing the live presentation. And of course, the chat, they can still send you a, a question during the recorded session. It'll just come to you as an email. All right? And you can respond to that question on an email. Uh, it might not be live. And again, if you're doing a pre-recorded presentation, you might want to say to people, send your questions through. It'll come to me on email and I'll reply to you when I can. All right? Um, and away you go. So guys, can I get a bit of feedback on the on the Evergreen system, on the replay? Yeah, I've got a couple questions, Walt. I, I was working with that a little bit earlier, and I was a little confused because there's an event page, which is the, the, uh, the, the Evergreen up, the webinar, and there's also a replay page. Yeah, um, which is basically just so you can see how the page will look. That's the page that they'll see when they're actually um, viewing the presentation. But that's They'll so you can design the page and make sure it looks the right way for when people come to view. But they're going to be viewing the event page, not the replay page. It's the same thing. Do you remember the, the URL, the Hangout plugin, the URL, the URL oh, that's just right. stays yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah, that's so right. that's Sorry. literally just you, so you can see the design and the yeah. layout. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. James, what do you reckon? And the other thing yeah, the other thing is the number of fields, the number of fields for the autoresponder, you've got four of them right now. Yep. Are all four of those required? There's an asterisk on the... Yeah, the I just saw that as well. And actually, that was on your um, your email before. Um, yep. I, I think what we need to do, if any of you guys have worked with lead pages, when you set up uh, integration with the autoresponder, it basically, um, I think what we need to do is we need to... Uh, pick up the fields from your autoresponder. So if you've set up an autoresponder with five fields, for example, we need to load that in so that you are capturing the same information on each one. So um, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll load in the fields from your autoresponder. I think that'll make more sense uh, as we go through. Uh -huh. So guys, and um, what are your thoughts, Joseph, Joshua? Albert, Brian, what do you what do you reckon? Looks fine, guys, yeah. mm -hmm. well, fine to me. I think I think that some people may want like to pick the certain days on the webinar, so it actually seems even more realistic. Because yeah. a lot of people won't want to say, "Hey, I want it every day. I want it like Monday, Wednesday, Friday only," something like that. That may be okay. something to think of in the future. Okay, cool. Like a day's selection, so you can actually specify on the twenty fourth, on the twenty seventh, and on the 29th at these three yeah. times. Yep. Yeah? I prefer to do every day, but I know there's a lot of people that'll say, well, it doesn't appear real if you're doing it every day because no one's going to do a webinar every single day, so they'll, they'll want to have it other, every other day or something like that to make it appear Yeah, no, that's a, that's a great idea. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I have to agree with that. That's pretty good, yeah. Josh. The other, thing, the other thing, as far as that goes, is yeah. that if you're truly really trying to simulate a live webinar, then what really gives it away is the, I can watch it right now at, at this moment, whatever time yeah. that is. If that's 2 o'clock in the morning, I can Actually, watch it now. Actually, do you what? Do you know what? It's really interesting when when you go and look at a, a like um, Michael Sam's Evergreen Business System, for example. Um, he always has the now option because somebody's on the page; they've registered. Um, yep. But I think what would be cool is actually if we give you guys, like the the owner of the site, the option: Do you want to let people watch now? But the way it should work, the way it should work is, um, uh, and again, I'm. I'm I'm asking this as an opinion. I, I actually have the other uh, WordPress webinar plugin, which is the Easy oh. Webinar plugin yep. from Casey, and that one has an optional thing as well. So you can say now, yes or no. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Cool. I'll drop that. Well, in. so on the on the bottom of the page when you're showing it, what's that webinar command dot com? Was that is that just great question? Videos? Great question. Um, I started off this hangout by actually saying that um, uh, thanks to Google, we actually have made enough noise that they've taken notice of us and said, hey, um, Google Hangout plugin is kind of our brand. You need to change it. So we were tossing around the branding of Webinar Command, um, which we are not going with. Um, but that's still showing up there, so I just need to talk to my designers. Um, what the branding will be in is actually we're, we're changing the brand within the next probably 30 days, and we're going to change it to the software will be called Run Click. 
So it'll be called Run Click Webinar and Video Conferencing Software Powered by Google Hangouts. Um, and again, we, we, got a, we got a really nice letter from Google. They were extremely eloquent uh, in their request, and they just said, hey, you know, this is, we would really appreciate it if you changed your branding because we kind of own the brand of Hangout plugin because that's what makes Hangouts work. Um, and uh, my business coach actually said, you made enough noise that Google noticed. I responded by saying, no problems, happy to change the branding over the next coming months, which is what we'll be doing. Um, and I ended my email back to them by saying, or of course I'm open to a buyout. But that was just a bit cheeky. I didn't hear, I didn't hear back. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't ever hear back on the buyout. So oh, are, we, are we all shareholders then? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> are we all shareholders then? Well, we're, we're, uh, you know we're being. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have I have to say no, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm actually surprised Google hasn't tried to do their own with WordPress now. I mean, they're buying everything else out. I, I just got a phone and realized Motorola's bought my. They just bought out Motorola. Yeah, <laughs> into the device space. Um, yeah, they bought the whole. They bought Motorola out. I looked at Motorola and now it says Motorola, a Google company. So there you go. They're buying everybody wow. now. That's amazing. Yeah, imagine what they're going to release soon. Hey, um, uh, speaking of which, being WordPress, uh, that actually just one last little thing that I wanted to bounce around. Nobody else knows this yet. Um, but within about 30 days as well, we'll be releasing a non-WordPress version. Um, so what that, basically, <laughs> what that basically means is that you can install what will be known as run-click webinar software on any website without WordPress. Um, is that something that might be interesting for you guys? Oh, nope. absolutely. Absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not? I've got an absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely yes. not. There's no way I, I, I am too heavily involved with WordPress. <laughs> I love HTML pages myself. The way, the way that we're going to structure it just purely from a marketing perspective yeah, is on the, on, the sales, on the sales page we're going to have um, buy this as a WordPress plugin. Um, you know, for $97 or whatever we end up as a pricing. Buy this as a standalone system for $97. Buy both for $147. So you get you get access to whichever one you want to go with. They're exactly the same. Um, yeah, it's, just a, it's just the installation mechanism. But word, so, just WordPress is better, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fact, the fact that WordPress... Yeah. <laughs> The fact that WordPress powers 20% of the world's sites, um, you know, they're onto something. And of course, being inside that framework makes it easy to uh, to control the experience and all that kind of stuff as well. But um, there's there's just the opportunity for businesses who say, I don't have a blog, I don't want, you know, have you got a website? Yeah, sure, cool. Well, you can install this, and it's literally just a zip file that they unzip on their website, browse to the installation page, fill in the details, and hit go, and it will create the system for them. Um, without them having to have WordPress. Now, as a industry um, inside secret, Joshua, just so you know, it's still WordPress, mm. but it, all of the WordPress stuff <laughs> is taken out. It's not a yeah. blog anymore. We're just we're using the same table structure. We're using the same everything, but we're just not putting it as a blog. We're just actually. I, I just posted a link in the chat box for you. It, we we've in, it's increased 21.2 percent now of the world's websites mm. are WordPress based. And when you consider the fact that uh, <laughs> there's so many billions of websites every day, that's a pretty significant yep. number. It is. And 60% of all the CMS systems are WordPress now. There you go. Amazing. They Amazing. own the market. But yeah, so we're actually, we, we'll be releasing RunClick um, with those two, two different configuration options for people as well. So. What do you think, guys? Cool. Uh, one, one thing I want to say. Do you know on the um, Evergreen Thanks, one? <laughs> On, on the on the evergreen thing, well, um, hey, would you say all them sort of templates? Are, are you going to have like a set template for the evergreen one? All templates are available with the evergreen or with live. Okay. So whichever templates you buy, whichever templates you have, um, you can run live or evergreen on each one of them. Right, because I've I've got another system which I use from another guy which does an um, a evergreen type system way and it also um, shows people coming in and in the chat room it does it all automatic so people think there's loads of other people in there as well but it also yeah. does it to a um, he actually just a bit of a heads up the way he works is he, he's set up like a, a web page like a um, go to webinar st stroke sort of web so it looks as though it's under a webinar system so he's bought a yeah. site, I can't remember what the site got, something, something, webinar, something, so it actually looks as though when he does the plug-in on there, it looks as though it's a webinar type um, thing, and he's got, the, if anyone ever goes to the site, 
it, it's got just a blank page with like this this is a webinar stroke system blah de blah. Hmm. Interesting. Do you, do you understand um, what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, let me bounce this off you. Um, one of the things that we're adding to the software is the concept of a video player. So um, over the top of the video, while people are actually attending your event, you can drop things in. So one of the most requested items is a buy button, of course. Um, or a voting system, yes, no. So I can actually drop in a, mm -hmm. you know, a green and red yes, no button, ask a question, and get people to vote. Being obviously uh, the fact that Hangouts have got a 60 second delay from what people are seeing on the live stream to the talking, it's going to be a bit disjointed. But it's something that is definitely worthwhile. The reason I bring that up in conjunction with the attendee list is that might be something that we could actually include in the in the player. So in the top right hand corner, for example. You you might uh, and I'm just I'm thinking this out loud as I'm talking, guys. So I might be able to set up something like a little tick box that says use pseudo attendee list and just have like a scrolling name, scrolling uh, set of random names coming through, um, so that you can see you know multiple people watching this webinar even if you're the only one there, or um, you know, use real attendee lists and see if we can get a, the registrations to populate the names through to the player. But I think the key there is the player. If we can lay something over the video, then uh, that will give you a bit of flexibility as to what you can show. Thoughts? I got one other question. Um, it, there's a possibility for affiliate marketing with this, obviously, as well. I'm kind of curious on the buy button structure. If there's a way to pass through the affiliate link once they go through the registration to the webinar so that they, when they buy, the affiliate still gets the credit, so you could bring in a lot more affiliates yeah. and fill a lot bigger room. Yeah, no, of course you can. Um, yeah, definitely. Without um, losing that, I mean, I know if we go to vi direct with a video on an embed, we can, but trying to pass it through a registration link prior to the video, that may be a little bit of problematic. I don't know how that would work with the affiliate structure on that. Well, you're about grabbing the ClickBank um, affiliate ID and the ClickBank uh, affiliate ID for the code. Did you have it in? Well, I know a lot of people are using like JVZoo and stuff nowadays. ClickBank's kind of dying. Yeah. Well, people, uh, all I used to know, the guy used to um, have any affiliate product that sold, this Dax Uran used to do that a lot on affiliate hijacking. He'd grab the code of the affiliate link, um, play one of the affiliate videos under his, get the sign up so that it all come in through his sign up page, but then it will click through, it goes straight through to the sales page rather than going through all their spiel and stuff? The absolute easiest way to do it, guys, on a flow, so let me tell you two things. The first thing is, um, I did this with Jason Fledley and um, just set up a redirect. So what you do is you set up a redirect, first of all to your, to your affiliate link, and then second of all to your registration page. So that they've, even without them knowing it, the the person, so you, all you're doing then is sending them the, the, the one link and in the background they hit the, the sales page and come back to your webinar registration page. So they're cookied to that straight away. Um, that's step one. So you set up a redirect um, so that they first go to the sales page, they're cookied, then they come to the registration page and they sign up. So they're cookied already before you get there, yep. right? Which is really, really cool. The second thing that you do, um, the second thing you do to make that work is when we when we do this overlay button, um, you can put any URL you want to in the back here, and of course that will be your So you're making doubly sure there, Josh, to make sure. Yeah. But if if you want to do that for any page that you want to drive people to from day one, a lead pages capture form or whatever, um, set up a redirect. So you basically you drive them to the sales page. They never see it. They get redirected back to your sign up page, but they're already cookie. Um, yep. And away you go. Makes sense. Yeah, and then of course with the with the buy button that we're going to include on the player, you just designate whichever URL you want them to go to. Oh, so guys, um, how are we doing? Everybody is pretty happy with where we're going with the software. Oh, absolutely. Cool. Anything okay, that makes we'll me do. money, I'm happy with. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm in the same same way. <laughs> so say that again, Joseph. I says I can see you know in, in the future running CPA through the same uh, type of sy system itself. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, yes. Hell yeah. Absolutely. You know, there's so much. There's so many good pieces of technology that work well together. Like, um, you can use one of the, the new video skin uh, to do a to do a teaser video on Facebook advertising. Drive them to a 
a cooking CPA page to a pre-recorded webinar that at the right time they click through to the CPA offer. I mean, yeah, for sure, absolutely. Definitely. So, Brian, you're not driving anymore. Brian, you're muted, or I can see <laughs> Brian. I can see your lips moving, dude, but I can't hear you. <laughs> no, Brian, I've got no sound coming from you, mate. You look really happy, though. Brian looks really happy. He's a mute. Actually, you know, I don't know what he's. I don't know what he's trying to tell us, but whatever he's telling us, he's yeah. happy. So that's great. Can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah oh, gotcha. yes. Okay. I, I say I've been to Walmart and everything right on my mobile device. So I've been watching the whole thing. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. It's a, and that's that's cool. the whole world is moving in that direction, guys. So whatever you do, I did a blog post yesterday. Uh, if you haven't seen it, um, WaltBayless.com. Go. When I was at this seminar in um, in Las Vegas, everybody's talking about. It's crazy that it took it blew my mind. Right? I'll just spend two minutes on this. It blew my mind. I was, I sat down with the guys and I had breakfast with these guys that are that are selling traffic and they're selling thirty million impressions a month, right? Thirty million impressions a month. Um, and you know what, Josh, they were one of the small players at this place, and it absolutely blew my mind. I went to Las Vegas with with the idea of finding more affiliates. Um, mm -hmm. It was the wrong venue for that. If I wanted to do that, I should have been an exhibitor, uh, and I will do that uh, next year perhaps, because that was insane. How much? Um, how many affiliates? They have five and a half thousand affiliates. But what I learned while I was there absolutely blew my mind. I met a guy who's making one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars a day, and I'm not joking. Uh, every time somebody says that in the in the internet marketing space, every time somebody throws those kind of figures at you. Um, you kind of hear, yeah, really? Yeah, sure you are. How's your master going? Um, but you know, this guy was, he was just a really nice guy, really well dressed, um, and, and basically showed me his accounts and stuff while I was sitting there. Uh, he's spending eighty to $90,000 a day on buying the traffic, right? <laughs> CPA still yeah, it's the still only way easy. you can make that kind of money is spend it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you know what, dude, that still leaves that's a it. pretty hefty margin. That's not bad. What I learned, this is this is what I learned, guys. The two major I things that see. I the two major things that I learned from the mobile ads. Mobile ads summed up in two words: mobile ads. Step one is you can if you can um, define your customer. You can say this is their, their this age bracket. They earn this amount of money. They're male, female. They've got kids who have left home. Whatever. If you can define who the profile of your customer is, you can buy traffic to anything. And if you've got a, a, the right converting offer, the traffic you buy is going to make you money. So that's step one. You can buy traffic to anything. Step two is mobile. The second part of the conference was the ClickBank guys. And interesting to hear you say ClickBank's dead. They are working their butts off. Um, yeah. To affiliate themselves and associate themselves, and to regain the traction that they lost, um, and I'm really excited with what what they've got coming through. Um, so they they're actually somebody to watch. But the big thing for them was everything is mobile. Seventy percent of web traffic at the moment. Seventy percent is mobile. So people are actually um, browsing their phones. More than they're using their desktop to do the same thing. So you know, whatever you're doing, set it up on mobile. Anyway, that's my. Yeah. Well, my yeah. well, do you know your uh, most? I haven't been checking recently because I've been doing other things. But uh, most of all your stuff is mobile optimized now, isn't it? For the um, for the templates and stuff. Yeah. So sorry, Ian, you missed that at the start. One of the, my first instructions to my uh, design team was that every single one of these templates has to be responsive. So no matter what device. People come to your pages. They come on an iPad, a phone, an Android device, a smartphone, anything at all, or a desktop. The pages look good. So that's absolutely critical point. And all of the new templates are responsive. Okay. So what that means is they, they scale to the screen size. Um, and uh, that was yeah, that was absolutely instruction number one. Cool. So. All right, guys. Um, look again. Thanks for joining me. It was just really just a spur of the moment thing to jump on and talk about this new these new additions, the templates and the evergreen system and um, the integration with the the autoresponders. Um, you know, I've picked up a couple of good ideas as well. And, and uh, as we mentioned, we've got um, some things coming with the software as well, the rebranding, and we'll be putting the player over the top of the video. Um, so there's some cool stuff there. I hope you. You know, pleased to be part. I of mean, it. you you must have um, the oh, what do you call it? Ever, easy Video Suite because that's got a lot of those features in there. 
Yeah, we do. I've got Easy Video Suite. I've got um, uh, COVID Video Player. <laughs> oh, um, so every time somebody comes out with something, I buy it. I, I'm, I'm, I buy stuff for research, or I buy stuff because it's cool, or you know. Um, but you know, I mean, some of these, some of these, some of the software that you see released for like twenty bucks. How can you not buy that? Yeah, but, that's right. I, I buy a lot of that. <laughs> Do you know, the, somebody called me... Uh, I don't like, buy any of it anymore. I, I got burned by so much it wasn't supported because of that. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you there, Joshua. I hear you, actually. I'd rather pay more for stuff that's supported and actually works. Yeah, yeah and, and you know what? Yeah. If you pay more, if you pay more, you end up with a software vendor who does support it because that's yeah. keeping keeping stuff up to date is expensive. I can tell you as a fact. There was a, actually when I when somebody mentioned your product when I first looked at it, it took them a day to convince me, that, and then I talked to you online actually first, and then that's when I bought it because I I had to know the developer. I won't buy it anymore because I'm getting yeah, so tired of getting it. burned by developers. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I like, the only thing, well, is it's a shame we're not all promoting it more because yeah. doing us all four as you keep adding all this stuff, which is phenomenal, and I've never seen sort of like anyone do as much as you do. Other than, I mean, there is another market in there that does quite a lot with this product. But w what it is, it's a shame we all don't say, look, let's all start marketing it more for you, becoming more of an affiliate for you, and marketing. Thank you, Ian. Yes. Well, but, but we're you. not, but we're not doing it. <laughs> we should be doing more of. No, yeah, I've got to tell you guys, if, you, if you're looking for a product to convert and you can find the right traffic, the sales page is converting off the chain. We we are still converting at 11% to cold traffic. So we've got, I've got a, a full time. Okay. Um, Content writer, all she does is write content for me. So she, we're not, we don't engage in any black. I've got an spam. idea for you, right? Quick, well, I've got a quick idea for you, and then I'm gonna leave because I've, I've got to get up soon. Um, okay, mate. Right, what I'd say is create a template that's automatically done that we can use to affiliate market yours. So what we do, we do an evergreen system. We market your product. You do a template that's all filled in. All we've got to do is click a couple of buttons, put it where we want it, and all of a sudden you've done all the work. We send them to you. You make all the money. Happy days. Is that, so, is that maybe too Good simple? Idea. No, that's perfect. I'll do a, I'll do a presentation um, with a video capture and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and, but add um, the template into the product so people can click on it and promote your product. And then you can start getting idea. marketers to say, what we'll do is you can do the evergreen product in hours. Give me the give me the thing template. And all of a sudden, you've got all your people promoting products and you're earning the cut, they're earning the cut, everyone's earning the cut. Yeah, great idea, mate. Great idea. Quality. I'll, um, I'll okay. make that happen tomorrow. I'll actually make that. That's a fantastic idea. I'll make that happen yeah, on Insta so that people actually get the evergreen um, presentation for Hangout plugin or run click as we're going to call it um, when they install. That's a great idea. I like that. Yeah, because if you if we're not promoting it, because half the people don't know how, it's already there. Just got to click a couple of buttons. We just promote your product. Because if we bought it, why don't we promote it? Yeah. Well, there you go. But you know what? Again, um, thank you, Ian. I really appreciate you. Your See you later. Comments. See you later, guys. Nice talking to you all. See ya. All right. Yeah, yeah, See you later. Thank you. Um, yeah, I really appreciate the, what Ian just said there, and, and thank you. That's really nice to hear. Um, look, everybody's got their own agenda. We we have people buying this product every day, which is fantastic, um, because this kind of webinar, hangout, video conferencing stuff is is big business. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, let me, let, let me just, just share a little bit of food for thought on that because it's a really good, it's a really great idea. And one of the challenges that I have is that I, I that you know when it comes to, to to affiliate marketing, is that I work in a in a in a in a prescribed niche. I work in real estate, so I work with real estate agents <laughs> and, and brokers. The <laughs> average the average age of realtor in the U.S. is 51 to 55 years old. So yeah. it's not a really young crowd, mm. and I have promoted. Different offers, even recently, um, that are really good uh, bets for them. But all of the sales pages speak to the IM community, and what I try to do is I try to translate, you know, the, the benefits and the advantages for for people in real estate because you've really got to spell it out. You've got to spell it out, you know, really in really simple terms, you know, for that to work for that, you know, for most of that crowd. Um, you know, there are real estate investors. The real real estate investor niche is the one that's most active in in the um, in the IM community, and they do the most. But the residential realtors, commercial realtors, are way behind the curve. But they're a really good audience, and it's just these sales pages don't convert. And what happens with me is that I, I generally 
we'll, we'll, we'll start to work with them, but by the time I get, I get the, a product and I'm comfortable enough to be able to talk about it, the launch is over. And yeah. so, you know, the, the, most of what I do in, in, in affiliate sales is after a launch because I'm really reluctant to, to say, here, this is good, go buy it, and then have people mm -hmm. screaming at me if, because I don't know what's going on. Yeah. But I, I so, that, so my suggestion, my suggestion there, Francis, on the back end of that is get out of the of the warrior launch world. Um, so again, coming back I to agree. This, <laughs> coming back to this conference in Vegas, like guys, again, something purely from my own business point of view, right? Uh, it, so let's take let's take a sales letter, hang out plugin as a good example. Um, so it's cost it costs about four thousand dollars to get a copywriter to do that sales page. Okay, so. Um, you, you know, you get the sales page done, and you just, you know, you spend the money. You've dealt with the graphics done. Everything's done. So four thousand is just for the copywriter. Then you've got graphics guys, which you you set you back another five or six hundred bucks. But what I've done in my business is every single one of my products, Hangout plugin, which will be called RunClick, um, our new CRM program, our uh, our existing PR PowerShop program, our G Alert plugin. What I've done is I've gone back to every single product. I've gone back to my copywriter. I've written them a big check. And I said, rewrite me an evergreen sales letter landing page um, because there's a lot bigger market out there than just the launch community. And yeah. um, Ryan, I think it was Ryan Dice, he might have been quiet, quoting somebody else. He said, um, to, to software vendors, to, to product creators like myself, he said, um, launching is a bonus, not a business. And um, that's so true. So all of our products have been uh, or are, are being rewritten so that they have a better conversion rate to the existing business traffic rather than the make money traffic that launches yeah. bring. Um, yeah, you know, sorry, I've noticed I... that your pages really are the are, are about the best for converting other other people. It's, it doesn't just speak to IM. That's that's very good. That's very good. Wait till you see what. Wait till you see them in 30 days, Francis, because the all of them are being redone. But um, what I was saying, what I said there was get out of the warrior launch space because, again, coming back to Las Vegas, these guys uh, spend a fortune on their landing pages. So if you can find if you can find an offer that has a landing page that's written to um, specifically your market, then your conversions will go through the roof and. There's a lot of new software that comes out of the sort of the, the vendor crowd that we're all part of and that we all promote for. Certainly, I do. Um, you know, there's a lot of loyalty in that as well. But launching is <laughs> launches and all of these launches and all of this stuff that comes through um, isn't a business model that's sustainable. Uh, it spikes. I agree. And and green traffic, buying traffic to a to a converting offer. That's where it's at. Um, and I can tell you categorically, absolutely for a fact, that when we've, like one of our products, PR PowerShop, which we redid specifically to a wider business audience, and now I've started dialing in and sending paid traffic to that conversion page rather than a, a launch sales page, A, I've got 15 or 16 percent conversions, and B, I'm printing money. You know, I'm buying 100 visitors for for fifteen dollars, for example, um, and I'm converting two sales, making making forty seven out of the back end. I'm literally buying money at wholesale, and that's for every whether it's your offer or an affiliate offer. If you can do that, if you can dial in the traffic to a converting page, then you can buy money at wholesale, and that's really yep. So anyway, I agree. Look, <laughs> I, I took one of these um, when I was at the show. Like I was standing there trying to trying to. Um, Actually, trying to calm, cool my feet down because if you've ever been at an exhibition or a trade show, like your feet just die by the end of the day. Um, I keep looking to the left because I'm, I'm looking to see if my daughters have just come home from childcare. I, I actually, I had, I was in Dan Kennedy, one of Dan Kennedy's group meetings a long time ago, and they said the number one booth in most trade sho shows is this guy used to go to trade show to trade show and sell insult insoles for the shoes and Dude, he would make a, awesome. he would clean house at every Dude, freaking trade show just doing that's nothing how but to <laughs> dial in your traffic Joe. that is how to get your traffic in a literal sense man that is absolutely brilliant um, it's like the guy we've got a we've got a train station here in melbourne called flinders street it's like the guy with it he, he has two products that he sells right one is sunglasses and one is umbrellas and dude, yeah. he's got that dialed in so well <laughs> he's making a fortune but um, i was going to say at the at the event um these guys with their landing pages. I took. I was trying to cool my feet down, and, and I was standing next to one of the trade show stands, and one of the one of the promotional uh, girls was there, and uh, I just like turned my head. I said, oh, "What do you guys do?" And she said, um, "I don't really know you, but if you go over and see those guys, you know they'll help you out." I was like, "Okay, you're not doing your job very well." <laughs> you know. Uh, and I, I kind of 
um, I started talking to this girl and I said, you know what, let me show you something. Let me show you why you're here, right? And um, so I took her literally five steps across the, the corridor to this guy who had a health product. He was selling vitamins, right? <laughs> Specifically to uh, 55 plus who have got joint pain, you know, like really a targeted audience. And his, his landing page was so well done that if you could put that right person on that landing page for sales, done. Absolutely done. So I, I, said to, I said to this girl, right, and this is affiliate marketing training, the most valuable thing that anybody will ever learn. I hope they find this on the plugin, uh, on the Hangout. Um, so I, I took this girl and I said, okay, let's get you an affiliate link, all right? Can I get an affiliate mm -hmm. link for this girl? Yeah, no problem. Like, so all we have to do is, um, you know, sign up, get an account, here's your affiliate link, great, no worries at all. Okay, cool. I said, now let's go back to the person you're actually presenting for. So I walked back across the corridor and I went up to her bosses for the, for the show and I said, guys, can you sell me traffic that is 55 plus joint pain, you know, da 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 And they went, yeah, absolutely. How many would you like? How many impressions would you like? I went, sweet. So I've crossed the hall and got a $50 affiliate offer, you know, crossed back across the hall and found my traffic source. And I said to the girl, now all you do is put these things together. This offer with this traffic, bam, you take the commission in the middle. That's a and realtor said, offer, Walt. You sell that to realtors. <laughs> exactly, man. And if somebody wants to take an affiliate marketing breakdown, that three minutes that I just covered is absolutely everything you need to know. Get a good converting offer and send the right traffic to that offer and pick up the check in the middle. Um, so anyway, so you know, <laughs> that was that was my how to teach a presenting girl what she's actually selling. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, guys, Brilliant. so I've, I've taken too much of your time. Does anybody want to fire anything else off before we head off? Nope. Everybody's no, fine. but if anybody wants to hang out after it's off off air, that may be more interesting to network. Yeah, cool. No worries. <laughs> there you go. You <laughs> if, um, you guys, if you haven't met each other, uh, catch up in the Facebook uh, group with the Hangout plugin or drop uh, emails and stuff in the, in the chat box if you want to right now. Um, but again, thanks guys. I really appreciate it. It was just a spur of the moment thing to jump on and talk about what's happening with Hangout Plugin and soon sure. be called Run Click Webinar Software. Sure. Uh, I'm really glad that you guys came along Thank you for making it entertaining. I hope I haven't bored you too much. Oh, no way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I look forward to all the changes coming up. Great <laughs> content. Yeah, cool. yeah. Awesome. Thanks guys. Look, Thank again, you. I really appreciate you being on and, um, uh, and I'm, I'm excited about what I can deliver in the software for you to, uh, to help each and every one of you drive your businesses forward. So. Again, thanks for the chance to do that. Thank you. Thank you for all these changes. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. It's, it's greed, man. It's greed. I, I make the changes to the software that I need <laughs> because I think, hey, that's a great idea. Let's make that happen. So, yeah, I'm happy to keep doing that. That's for sure. Cool. All right, guys, I'm going to finish off. We will uh, we'll go off there. And, again, thank you for the time and look forward to seeing you around the traps. Absolutely. Right. Have a good night. Good night. Bye.